everyone, and welcome to coverage of the 2022 Promation Corduroy Enduro presented by GP Bikes. Pat Gonzalez along with seven-time cord champion Blair Sharpless. And uh, on today's episode, Blair, we look back at a brand new test at the cord toe jam. I think your sister probably has something to do with that along with her husband, uh, Jamie. But uh, how difficult was it uh, cutting out this brand new, uh, and it's a long one, this brand new test number two? Yeah, it's uh, the toe jam test. We've been working on it for several years, just piecing stuff together. Whenever I get time, I go up and flag some trail. At 13.9, it's the second longest test of the whole event, and it's got everything in it. It starts off with some easy two track, um, then we got a couple of creek crossings, we've got a grass track, we've even got an old rock wall from the old pioneers when they used to pick rocks out of the field to clear so they wouldn't break their plow and the riders ride along top of it. So it's, uh, it's going to definitely, it definitely tests the riders, their endurance and all the aspects of their uh, riding skill with the fast grass track and that. The early numbers are definitely not going to like this test because it is brand new. Uh, not a lot of traffic's been on it, so it's hard to find your way where a rider, say, who's riding later on, like in the 20s, he's going to have a very established trail to follow and maybe a better chance. Well, a couple of riders were running a little bit later on. Philip Cheney on minute 17 and Russell Bobbitt on minute 23. They'll know which way to go. Do you attack a brand new test like this differently than you would uh, a test that's been used for years at the court? Yeah, definitely. They're going to have to be more careful on a test like this because hidden under the grass and under, you know, not too many leaves down, but it's just there's rocks up here. It's not like... Uh, you know, if you were in some parts of Ontario where you know it's all sand, there is no rock. And you can just get confident, just get moving. There's one stretch in here, about a kilometer long, that's grassy and that. We try to get all the grass off and get the rocks exposed. But if you could get flying on that section and you hit a rock, it could be. So I think the rider is going to have to be a little cautious. Um, the riders on the earlier number are going to have to definitely look at it a different way. Plus, the test is so long. And if you look at what the average speed was, it was under 30 kilometers an hour. So that means the riders are working all the time. There's no sitting down and just pushing the throttle. They're working, standing up on the pegs and picking their way through and, and definitely more like a hard enduro this test. Well, we've got some footage of uh, the riders going through that farmer's rock wall, and it looked like it was a real challenge. Even a pro rider such as Ryder Heacock, he put in a big effort to get through there with speed. Yeah, it looks good. Ryder was up on the pegs in his uh, there, where a lot of the riders are sitting down. But the big problem with the rock wall, if you had someone have a trouble in front of you, there's just no way around them. So I see a couple of the riders get off to the side with the footage I saw and get out of the way of some of the fast guys, which is always part of Enduro's, is the traffic in front of you. Well, the winner of test number two was two-time court champion Philip Cheney, the Quebec rider on the KTM. It took him just a little over 28 minutes to complete the run. Alexandra Goujon on the Husqvarna in second. Russell Bobbitt, a good run for him in this brand new test. Finishes third, Ryder Heacock fourth, and Owen McKill, who won test number one and was the leader coming into the toe jam test number two. He rounds out the top five. And so Philip Cheney, trying to become a three-time court champion, has the points lead going to our next test. That is test number three here on day one, McCrums.